Hey guys, my name is Julia and I'm one of your teen services librarians over at the main library on Goodwood. I have been pretty stuck on slime lately, literally because we're making magnetic slime. Supplies that accompany this video are available at the main library in a limited capacity. Before we get started though, let's give credit where it's due. This activity was originally designed by ThoughtCo. There's a link to their instructions in the video description. To make magnetic slime, you're going to need a quarter cup of white glue, a quarter cup of liquid starch, a craft stick, two tablespoons of iron oxide, a magnet, and a styrofoam bowl. To get started, I'm actually going to mask up. I know we're all sick to death of masks, uh, but the iron filings are very, very tiny, and I don't want to accidentally breathe them in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and first up take our liquid starch and dump it into our bowl. Next up, we're going to open up the iron filings and carefully pour them into the starch. And we're going to take our craft stick and stir it together. Okay, and once everything's good and mixed in, uh, I'm going to take my mask off and go ahead and we're going to put our glue in next. Okay, so when you get everything mixed together, it should look a bit like the black goop from Fern Gully. Uh, and it's gonna be a little liquidy. When I did this on the test run, I found that it actually firmed up to more of a flubber consistency uh, over time, so less glue is probably better for right now. What we're gonna do next is test it out. So grab your magnet and just see what happens. All right, and just for funsies, I have a magnet that I use for magnet fishing that's pretty high powered. Let's see what happens with it. All right, enjoy this, have fun. Uh, when you're ready to store it, just throw it in a uh, plastic bag. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for the science. Atoms have positive and neutral charged particles crammed in their center called the nucleus. Orbiting the nucleus, there are a bunch of negatively charged particles called electrons. This sounds like electricity because electrons are the source of electricity and were named for it. So everything electric produces a magnetic field because electricity and magnetism are actually two sides of the same coin called electromagnetism. And the way this works has to do a lot with how the electrons are spinning in an element. In most things like aluminum, the uh, electrons or spins cancel each other out, which is why you can't do anything with a magnet and a Coke can. But on other elements like iron, the electrons are all spinning the same way, and they really want to link up with things like neodymium, whose electrons are also spinning the same way. Here's the thing though, scientists still don't fully understand how or why electromagnetism works. It powers our world, but it's still a little bit mysterious. We're far from figuring out how things work in this universe, and we need a chemist and physicist to help us get there. If you have any questions or comments about today's activity, holler at us. Our phone number is 231-3770, or you can leave a comment on this video. Better yet, tag us on Instagram and show us what you made. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see you next time.